Hello, everybody, and welcome to our GE Life Sciences Lab for another episode of What's the Difference? Today, we will be showing the differences between your standard syringe and syringe filter and the Wapman Autovial syringeless filter from GE Healthcare. Both devices will produce a filtered sample ready for the next step in your process. Let's focus on what's the difference between these two designs. First, let's look at the standard syringe and syringe filter. Retrieve your standard syringe. Begin with the plunger inside the syringe barrel. Draw the liquid to be filtered into the syringe barrel. Now retrieve the syringe filter and place it onto the syringe by using the slip lure fitting or lure lock on the end of the syringe. Now depress the plunger, filtering your sample. Without a pre-filter, the standard syringe filter may clog as it does here. Now let's switch to the auto vial. The auto vial is one self-contained unit with the syringe filter attached to the base. A single unit for ease of ordering, then even comes with a handy barrel stand for convenience. Okay, let's start. Retrieve the auto vial and fill it with your sample. Now depress the plunger, filtering the sample. Half the steps, a single unit. And did you notice that all the sample was easily filtered through the auto vial? This can be achieved using the built-in glass fiber or polypropylene pre-filter available in selected models. The sample shown here would have required at least four syringe filters using the conventional method due to clogging. Is safety important to you? Are you filtering hazardous or precious materials? Has your syringe filter ever popped off the syringe during a filtration? The auto vial prevents that as well with its self-contained design. So, what's the difference? The Wattman Auto Vial, designed for convenience and efficiency.